Hey guys, welcome to the Global Business Leader Series with the Chamber Guy. Tonight, we are honored to host a distinguished figure in the realm of international commerce, Mr. Sanjay Agrawal, President of the Nepal Italy Chamber of Commerce and Industry. As we navigate through the complexities of global trade, sustainability, and innovation, Mr. Agrawal stands at the forefront, championing the potential of Nepal-Italy partnerships. Join us as we uncover the pivotal role of the Chamber in sculpting the future of these dynamic economies. Mr. Agrawal, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Most welcome. To start off, uh, Mr. Agrawal, as the president of NICCI, Tell us what is the vision and mission of NICCI and how do you align the Chamber's mission with the rapidly evolving global economic landscape, particularly in fostering Nepal-Italy relations? Okay, let me start with the Nepal-Italy, how we, how, how we formed. So Nepal-Italy Chamber of Commerce was formed in 2014 uh, with, uh, with a lot of companies and young entrepreneurs. And we were uh, we were re reestablished back again in 2023 with a new team and a new United team. Uh, the main purpose uh, was to promote the promote and develop business relationship between Nepal and Italy. So Nepal Italy Chamber organizes events, seminar, providing information, knowledge, and hints to help our member to gain a better understanding and both economic development and enhance their marketing strategies. So our main vision is um, to create a strong, uh, sustainable and uh, collaborative partnership between Nepal and Italy and uh, uh, Nepal and Italy and uh, foster innovation, cultural exchange, uh, economic growth. So by prioritizing uh, sustainable development and promoting a cultural innovation uh, and entrepreneurship, we aim to build a brighter future for both countries. Which can, uh, which can strengthen the relationship between the both countries. Thank you. Now, let's talk about sustainability. Sustainability yeah. is a buzzword in today's uh, business environment. Uh, yes. Could you share how NICCI is integrating sustainable practices into its trade initiatives between Nepal and Italy? Yes, certainly. Uh, sustainability is a is a is plays a very vital role in, in any any relationship. So, uh, promoting sustainability sustainability is a crucial aspect of modern uh, business practices. And Nepal Italy Chamber of Commerce and Industry recognizes it uh, its significance in uh, fostering responsible and ethical trade initiatives between Nepal and Italy. So I have. I, have, uh, I want to highlight a few points uh, that we are working on it and we are taking initiative in, on those points. So we are promoting uh, like uh, and we in some of the criteria we have already started to work and some some are in our vision and mission as well. So we want to work on promoting green technology, sustainable supply chains, uh, educational initiatives, uh, certification and standards uh, and circular economy promotion, uh, policy advocacy networking and collaboration, and maybe community engagement. So all those points we need to work. <laughs> That's a huge call, actually. Yeah. 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 That's a lot it's of work. Quite challenging. It's quite challenging, but yeah, it's, uh, it's in our mission and vision. And in some points, we have already started to work as well. You know, it's really heartening to hear because uh, I've been speaking to various chambers of commerce. Uh, sustainability going eco-friendly, going green, doesn't happen overnight. It's, it's not just at the end product but it's throughout the entire process so uh, a lot of companies are still struggling with this and some chambers uh, find it, it it's a bit surprising actually some chambers yeah. find it a bit difficult to approach a subject with their members yeah exactly exactly i uh, i mean to i need to prove that uh, between uh, all the chamber that are uh, that are in, in in all the part of the world doesn't mean only business we are a part of this world and it's our social responsibility as well to give back to the country because business is not everything so we normally talk about business business and business so but i need to i am leading nepal Italy chamber in a different way so i am i want to do a different kind of work beside uh, all those business dealings and everything Amazing. Now, let's talk about uh, artificial intelligence integration. With artificial intelligence uh, reshaping industries, 
what steps uh, is the chamber taking to incorporate AI into Nepal-Italy business collaborations for enhanced efficiency and innovation? I think artificial intelligence also provides a vital role um, into business collaboration and significantly enhance efficiency and innovation. Uh, here's uh, I, even I have uh, highlighted few points uh, that uh, I need to work in uh, artificial intelligence part. So we need to create um, education and awareness first, and then we need to have some advisory services and collaborative research and development. And we have to do some data analysis works as well. And uh, we need to facilitate the, the trade of, of, of applications based on consumer customer engagement. And maybe uh, the another thread that we are getting uh, is on cybersecurity as well and uh, the ethics and the government's part as well. <clears throat> when you mention uh, cybersecurity, uh you know, that, that leads us to the uh, next question, actually, because I want to touch on uh, something that the entire world is affected by, uh, talking about global scams. Yeah. Um, in an era where businesses are increasingly vulnerable to global scams, uh, what strategies uh, are you taking to recommend uh, to your members for safeguarding their operations? Actually, uh, navigating global scam is a crucial concern for all businesses in today's interconnected uh, world. The Nepal Italy Chamber of Commerce and Industry actively recommends uh, the following strategies. I, I have highlighted a few points as well. So we would like to work on those points because it's a very crucial thing in uh, today's part of the world. Yeah, uh, all those points are like um, educate and train employees. That is the core mm -hmm. thing uh, because I, I believe I strongly believe is that training is uh, plays a vital role. The awareness is very important. Uh, implement robust cybersecurity measures, uh, verification protocols and transactions. Uh, due intelligence in business partnerships, uh, create internal reporting, reporting mechanisms that is very helpful in day-to-day -day work, legal and regulatory compliance, uh, even we need to educate and know the regulatory compliance as well, and uh, security audits has to be done on a regular basis, uh, collaborate with cyber security experts uh, that we need to hire, uh, hire cyber security experts as well. And there must be insurance cover insurance coverage if there is any, any, any significant loss in our businesses as well. That's true. I mean, uh, that is going pretty deep. But uh, when it comes to clicking on links from unknown emails, answering unknown phone calls from uh, unknown numbers, these basic things, sometimes we even fall for that. It's very prevalent in uh, Singapore. We are receiving, in fact, I personally receive uh, five to six phone calls a day from scammers. So does the insurance company in Singapore cover the, all those uh, cyber security threats? Not really, because uh, it all depends. Uh, we have uh, come up with quite a number of educational programs to educate not just the young, but also the elderly. So uh, people have been scammed out of millions from their banks, you know. Uh, initially, the banks started to cover, but, uh, you know, over, the period, over a period of time, uh, they said, you know what, we, we can't continue covering this. You have to be educated. You have to know that taking these steps will lead you to become a victim in a scam. Yeah, so training, we is already, training and awareness is very important, yes. Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the things I'm actually doing. Uh, as I travel, uh, actually working with the local law enforcement agencies as well as various governments to educate the youngsters, but also uh, some of the old folks who tend to lose millions from their savings. You know. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about the Economic uh, Cooperation and uh, Trade Agreement, ECTA, between uh, Nepal and Italy. Uh, this marks a significant uh, milestone. How do you envision this agreement transforming trade dynamics between the two countries? So as per my last knowledge, um, uh, there is no significant uh, information available about an economic cooperation and trade agreement between Nepal and Italy. But um, uh, if it's possible uh, to arrange such arrangement uh, between both, both the countries, uh, mm -hmm. we are working on it. If an um, uh, ECTA, the Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement, uh, established between Nepal and Italy, it's impacted. It will be an impactful strategy on both the countries' uh, economic condition as well. So, however, I can provide a general and perspective on how bilateral economic agreements can transform trade dynamics between few countries. 
Mm-hmm. So like uh, the key point will be like uh, market access and traffic redu- uh, reduction, promotion of investments, uh, trade in services, uh, intellectual property uh, protection, uh, mutual recognition agreements, and capacity building and technical assistance. Uh, maybe I would like to add some more point like um, dispute resolution mechanisms as well, mm-hmm. and promotion of innovation and research collaboration. That is the key points, I guess. Yeah, thank you for that. Now, uh, given Nepal's rich natural resources and uh, Italy's advancements in renewable energy, what opportunities do you see for a bilateral cooperation in this sector? I think Nepal is uh, very rich in uh, in water. We are like third largest, um, third richest country in water resources. So yep. the collaboration between Nepal and Italy is the renewable energy sector holds a significant potential. Uh, combining Nepal's abundant natural resources and Italy's uh, advance in renewable uh, energy technology, because Italy have a lot of uh, advanced technology and we have all the resources. So uh, maybe uh, with uh, both countries' collaboration, we can work in different sectors like uh, hydropower development, uh, solar energy product projects, uh, wind energy in, in wind energy in, in, in initiatives as well, because we have a lot of upper mountain hill region where we, you can find very good wind. And we can create wind energy as well. So um, uh, we can uh, grid integration and save energy storage as well. We can work on that. And policy and regulatory frameworks and maybe uh, investment and financing and maybe arranging some trainings all for all those projects as well. Thank you. Now, um, cultural understanding plays a crucial role in international trade. Uh, could you elaborate on the Chamber's efforts to foster cultural exchanges between the both countries, Nepal and Italy, uh, enhancing business relations. Yes, culture, even culture plays a vital role in both both countries' relationship, I guess. And fostering culture exchanges between Nepal and Italy is a strategic initiative that can significantly enhance business relations and create, uh, create a foundation and meaningful collaborations. The Nepal Italy Chamber and Commerce recognizes the cultural exchange within its business community. So I would like to hear even highlight a few more points here. Uh, cultural events and festival exchange of cultural events and festival. Uh, business conferences with, with cultural components. That is very key. And, uh, we even do in Nepal. Uh, we try to incorporate all the cultural, um, uh, cultural kind of a test that we do in all the seminar and meetings. Uh, art exhibition and cultural search, uh, corporate, social, corporate social responsibility CSR projects, uh, partnership with cultural organizations, publication on uh, p- publication and cultural guides, and uh, promoting social media pl- promoting cultural activities on social media platforms. So, so that are the key things that we can work out. Thank you. You just spoke about uh, cultural exchange. Let's touch on uh, education exchange. Now, um, education forms the backbone of a skilled workforce. What role uh, does NICCI play in facilitating educational exchange and enhancing trade in education services? So we can, we can, because like a lot of students from Nepal uh, go abroad to uh, study every year uh, and uh, even Mm -hmm. in Europe, America and in uh, neighboring Asian countries. And I think a a big chunk of students go to Europe as well. So we can, we can be a facilitator for them and try to provide uh, good, uh, good uh, trainings and good, uh, uh, I think, opportunity for them by discussing with the Italian chambers and providing, provide them the proper information about the colleges and universities that are there in the Italy. Right. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, tech startups as trade drivers. Tech startups are becoming increasingly influential in global trade. Uh, How is NICCI assisting startups in Nepal and Italy to explore cross-border opportunities? Uh, Cross-border opportunities, um, it's a key driver for economic growth and educational exchange and enhancing trade and education services between Italy and uh, Nepal. I think the Mm -hmm. key point can be like um, scholarship programs, uh, educational Mm -hmm. partnerships, uh, language exchange is is a very big program that we can run and maybe workshop and training and all those things that we can organize. Right. Now, uh, we talk about uh, 
exploring new markets, uh, which is actually yes. really essential for growth. Can you share how the Chamber is identifying and facilitating entry into untapped markets for businesses in both countries? Yeah, very nice question. Thank you. Expanding into new markets, uh, indeed, uh, is a crucial uh, for both the countries and uh, we can have a good business growth from that. So I think Nepal and Italy Chamber of Commerce plays a vital uh, role in identifying and facilitating entry into an untapped market for businesses in both Nepal and Italy. So here are the key points that I, do, I would like to highlight. Uh, we, we, we have to do a lot of market research and analysis, trade missions and delegations, uh, market entry strategies, cross-border partnerships, customized trainings uh, from the both countries, uh, digital marketing and e-commerce support that is that plays uh, vital roles in today's economy as well. And I guess diversification is uh, strategies as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's uh, wind up uh, this interview with this last question. Uh, let's talk about the future of uh, Nepal-Italy relations. Looking ahead, what major trends do you foresee shaping the future of uh, trade relations between Nepal and Italy? And how is the Chamber preparing to navigate these changes? I think we have a great future ahead. Uh, as I told you before, also in 2023, we uh, we uh, renovated, uh, renewed our team and everything. So we have a young dynamic team who is working day-to-day -day basis to enhance relationship between both the countries. So uh, while I can't predict future events and developments with certainly, but what I can highlight is some of the 10 that have some potential saves of the future uh, based on both, uh, both of the countries. Uh, as I told before, also most, most of the points are almost similar, like digital transform, transformation, uh, global health, uh, we can work on trade policy changes, diversification of trade partners, human capital development, and geopolitical stability. That all those points we can, I think, work uh, to enhance the relationship between both the countries. Thank you, Mr. Agrawal. Now, um, before we go, I'd just like to ask you, do you have any uh, last words? to say to our viewers and uh, some of the people who are watching uh, could be potential members or could be from Nepal uh, moving to Italy or from Italy moving to Nepal uh, to show them that there is support that is accorded by the chamber. What do you want to say to them? I would like to say is that Nepal is a small country, but very beautiful country. It has a huge potential. Uh, we are basically known for the country of Mount Everest or a country where uh, beautiful uh, Pasmina is produced or like uh, a country of Lord Buddha. But we want to go beyond that. We all know that there we have Mount Everest. We have uh, Lord Buddha. We all respect it. But beyond that, we have a lot of things. We have water resources. We have a lot of potential in our countries uh, because our economic growth is still still far away to grow and we have a lot of things to do we have a lot a lot of raw materials a uh, lot of uh, we can work out in health sector in tourism because our gdp is based on um, majorly three things well, that is remittance uh, agriculture and tourism so we have huge potential and uh, talking about italy because we have less tourists from italy because uh, even they haven't many of the tour italian citizens haven't explored uh, nepal till it because we are working um, to enhance the uh, tourism sector as well. I think we have huge potential. Potential. Our people are very kind, very polite, and very um, uh, helping people in our country. So I would like to, uh, I would like to call uh, all the Italian and European people to visit Nepal and explore Nepal because we are a small country but very beautiful country. People with very kind art. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. And uh, that brings us to the end of this uh, amazing conversation. Mr. Agrawal, thank you for being here. Thank your you so insights, you. your insights tonight have not only illuminated the critical work of the Nepal Italy Chamber of Commerce and Industry, but also highlighted the vast potential for growth, innovation and mutual benefit between the two nations. Uh, to our viewers, we hope this conversation inspires you to look beyond borders and embrace the opportunities that global collaboration offers. Contact details of the Nepal Italy Chamber of Commerce can be found right below this video. I'm the Chamber Guy. Thank you for joining us on the Global Business Leader Series. Stay tuned for more discussions on the pulse of global commerce coming your way. Till the next time, stay safe. <laughs>